1 into 2 into 3 into 4 goes on till n by p cube greatest integer right and in this case it is 6 till 6 again we do the same thing 6 divided by 2 greatest integer into 2 the get last time having 2 as a factor that is again 6 so we take uh, we write this 6 as 3 into 2 if we have 3 into 2 we'll have 2 into 2 other terms i'm not taking like 5 3 i'm not bothered because they cannot produce 2 so 3 into 2 2 into 2 1 into 2 again we have uh, take 2 out how many times three times so one left over is 1 into 2 into 3 so we divide 3 by 2 greatest integer into 2 the last time having 2 as a factor is is, is 2 so i write 2 into 1 that's all it's only one term 25 2 to the power 12 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 1 and left over is 1 so this much number of times 2 is present 2 to the power <coughs> 37 40, 44 I think I missed out something I forgot the 3 thing 2, two, uh, two cube I missed out when I take 2 common 3 times so 2 cube is there so it is uh, 47 2 to the power 47 right and see what have we have done so first of all I, again I'll, I repeat the general process n by we have taken if we have to find look for p prime in n factorial then n by p into p is the greatest number which will have p as a factor but we have to find how many times p is there this much number of times number of times p in the whole product and this is the last term so we are bothered in we are, we we want n by p n by p is this much number of times p is there and the in the remaining series would be after taking p common 1 into 2 into 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 goes on till n by p because if you write last term like this and you take p common then left over is n by p now again same to see num number of times p is present in this product we divide this right we divide this <coughs> by p and take the greatest integer this much number of times fine <coughs> right uh, so we add this to this and then again plus after this we get n by greatest integer of this divided by p again we divide by p and take greatest integer of it and this goes on this will give us then uh, if we going on we keep on going till we get one we'll get the greatest number of times uh, like <coughs> greatest number of times p is present for example if it is 100 factorial and we want to find 5 uh, the exponent of 5 in 100 factorial so what we do is 100 divided by 5 greatest integer so the last term we are uh, same 100 uh, this much number of times we got 5 and then what is this value it is 20 20 divided by <coughs> 5 again greatest integer plus this is the value 4 4 divided by uh, 5 greatest integer that is 0 so no need to go further so we get um, 20 here plus we get 4 here the answer is <coughs> 24 right uh, if we have to find 7 power of 7 in 100 factorial 100 by 7 greatest integer plus this value is <coughs> 14 into 798 so it is um, uh, 14 the greatest this value is 14 this value is 14 14 divided by 7 greatest integer 2 2 divided by 7 greatest integer 0 no need to go further so we get <coughs> 14 plus 2 16
I hope it is clear.